Chief Justice David Maraga has called for the amendment of the Sexual Offences Act to give courts the independence to exercise discretion in determining sexual offences. Maraga says he sympathizes with young boys who have been jailed as a result of the act saying the law was unfair to them and that it should be changed to allow judges determine the sentence depending on each case. Speaking when he commissioned the ultra-modern court complex in Nakuru, Chief Justice David Maraga admitted there was a problem with the law when it comes to young offenders. The Chief Justice arguing that in many instances boys have suffered the most under the controversial act. Because the girl is below uh, 18, the boy is taken as somebody who has it viral and sent to prison for very many years. I have a serious problem with those kind of uh, cases. Meanwhile, the National Parents Association now says that it fully supports the reopening of schools in January 2021, despite the rising cases of COVID-19. The association argued that schools are safer than homes, even as tens of students and teachers continue to test positive for the virus. Our children are safer in school than uh, home, as evident. And there is an exposure to violence and, explo and exploitation manifested in increase in early marriages. More children have been recruited into militia, sexual exploitation of young girls and boys. Elsewhere, Sierra County Deputy Governor James Okombe has urged Sierra residents to join the reforestation campaign to help expand Kenya's forest cover. Okombe adding that the residents stand to gain economically from the sale of trees in future. Meanwhile, Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha has called for a holistic consultation on the proposal to hike university fees. Speaking in Kisi County, Magoha said the proposal had high tension among students, a move that could create disharmony if not handled with caution. Parliament and some other people discussed and said the fees will be increased four times. But it's an executive arm of government which will still have to take that decision and put it through major stakeholders, which in my opinion must include the students themselves. Elsewhere, here, Governor Conor Rasanga has chided with the Orange Democratic Movement Party for its unfair treatment of governors in Nyanza region. Rasanga urging the ODM party to restore confidence among its supporters.